Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using obviously a mason jar, some orange and green acrylic paint and a brush. And I'm going to be painting that part, the top part of my mason jar in green, giving this like few coats because I would want it to be like opaque. And then the rest is going to be orange. And feel free to work with um, spray color. Just prefer to work with this acrylic paint. Then I'm going to be tracing the shape, the um, shape? Yeah, the shape of the uh, pumpkin face like this with my pencil. I'm going for the like classic or traditional shape, one triangle for the nose, two for the eyes and then like mouth or smile like this. I'm going to be using my sharpie. I'm going to go over what I traced on with my pencil and you know feel free to work with acrylic paint as well to paint this part or just any other marker. A sharpie works as fine. I'm going to pretty much undo everything I just said. I'm going to be taking a nail file and pretty much going to be filing here and there just to make this look rustic vintage or if it has been around for a long time almost like if i had found it at an antique store that's what i was going for with this a key like step to do this is just to focus on a lot on the face almost like giving the impression that like the paint is starting to like fade away I'm going to be doing this all over the place even though the back part of this is not going to be visible for my one because I'm going to be placing the face towards me but still I just wanted to go for you know touches all over the place. So I would just recommend you to paint this pretty well and then just do this instead of like half painting this because that way is going to look like undone as opposed to this way that the vibe that I'm going for this is that it was like done and well painted and you know time did its thing. Then I'm going to be taking my twine, I'm going to be using some twine and I'm going to be decorating this part like that and just adding a few knots. You can do a bow if you want, I just wanted to go for knots. This part I'm doing just like this because I didn't want this to be like, you know, poking like on the top. Send your twine to the bottom like this. And there is, this is the rustic pumpkin mason jar that I want to share with you. I love it. I think it looks really cute and it was so much fun to make. I know it seems like counterproductive to just do the whole thing and then just use a file, but I think it's worth it. It adds something to it. Feel free to use this as you want, like school supply storage unit or maybe as a home decor. It would sound like flowers as a base. For me, I'm I'm just going to be using this as my kitchen utensil storage because I like to have some kind of like mason jar with my kitchen stuff in display just because I think it looks kind of like cozy. I find it convenient and just practical to have like the things that I use more often displayed in a cute place. You can also store some like Halloween uh, candy like chocolate bars and stuff like that but yeah those are some ideas i really hope you like this one if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more halloween stuff that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys